guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again with a review of a close up of my Beretta 9mm 92FS pistol. And I just wanted to, uh, I tried something new today. I'm using a GoPro camera to kind of, with a wide view lens, kind of see everything. Let me know uh, how you like the fisheye lens, if it's uh, not too bad in the comments below. Let me know if you like it, if you dislike it. I do like the quality of the GoPro, it's a little more HD and uh, definitely better to see the whole table and you can see a lot more than um, trying to hang a regular camera up in the air or put it on a tripod next to me so well without further ado so this is what you get when you buy a Beretta 92FS and there is a couple kinds there is a Beretta 92FS 9mm and there's a Beretta M9 9mm this one is the 92FS and this one actually come is made in Italy uh, opposed to the M9 for the US military, which is made, of course, in the US by Beretta USA. These run about upwards of $600 or so nowadays. Uh, I bought this. This is actually my very first firearm that I purchased. I've always, you know, I always loved the Beretta. I, I know a lot of good reliability. I've heard the good stories. Um, it's, you know, I think a lot of us have seen uh, the Beretta used quite a bit in uh, the old movie Boondock Saints, which is a a great movie so I definitely loved it and that's kind of where I first saw it and then you see it a lot in movies throughout uh, throughout the Hollywood in the last three or four decades or so this has been out probably since I believe uh, 70s or 80s you know it was one of the first double stack nine millimeter so this definitely has some good history behind it good reliability and uh, of course the military has been using it for uh, a couple decades now so but yeah so this is what you get a little uh, little space holder here it's a little blue box just basic padding you get two magazines both made in Italy. Have the PB stamp on the bottom there for the uh, Pietro Bretta. There you go, same one. Of course, nothing in there. So yeah, here it is, Bretta 9mm 92FS. Uh, I've shot thousands of rounds through it. I bought this probably four years ago as my first firearm and I love it. Not a single problem with it ever. I've never had a hang fire, never had any jams with it. The only thing I've ever had was, uh, I believe uh, we did have a failure to lock the slide back one time, but other than that, spectacular. So, uh, nice safety right here. Easy safety. It's it's neat. It's a great gun to train people on. You know, low recoil, double stack magazine, a lot of ammunition you put in there. So you, know, you can definitely get some practice in it. It's, I always love taking this to the range when I have a first time shooter who's coming with us because you know it's definitely great for reliability. You can um, easy slide to lock back. You can lock back however you want. It even slides back just a little bit, just like that. Decocker safety. It's great because when you hand the firearm to somebody on safe. It's a great training piece so that you can just tell them, you know, when you're ready, finger off the trigger, when you're ready, just push the safety up. I'm good to go. Uh, great trigger, you know, definitely heavy, but after your first round, of course, the hammer's locked back, you know, much lighter, nice and crisp. So, and like I said, you get two mags with it. You also get, you can also go and buy various accessories for it. I'll go through that real quick, just kind of show you what else is on there, what I like to use for it. Uh, my first, of course, holster is number one. You know, people like to buy a holster first thing. This is my first holster, it's a real cheap one, uh, holds a spare mag, and it actually uh, just clips under your belt, any belt will do. It has a nice uh, retention clip there. Uh, you know, it's a, little, it's a little wobbly, it's not real close and tied up as you'd want, but it's a great first cheap holster to have. Uh, I think I got this a gift, as a gift, you know, as like a, here's your, you got a first firearm, here's your first accessory so and of course I went ahead and throughout the years I bought three new magazines for it as well a couple of OD green ones uh, I think there's military surplus ones and then a um, one from like Academy Sports with a aluminum backing the ones that it looks real close to the uh, it is made in Italy um, this is a little bit different than the ones that come with it these have a plastic bottom tune with a PB on it this one is made in Italy without with a uh, aluminum stamped uh, probably maybe like actually a steel base to it uh, all of them hold 15 rounds, 9mm. I'll put about 10 in there since I store it. I don't go shooting with it too often, so I just keep 10 in there, you know. No rounds in your magazine, 
makes the gun useless. So I always store it with a little bit of rounds in there. Um, I also have the more modern holster I love. This is a Black Hawk with a nice, uh, you know, when you put the firearm in there, slides in real nice. You can rotate it. I have it kind of rotated a little bit forward. And then when you're ready to, you just, you have it ready, to, just like where your finger placement would be, you push this button in and it slides right out. Uh, it does, um, unlike the cloth one right here, this kind will rub on the bluing of your firearm, especially towards the front, but they're all custom fit, all the Blackhawks. And this one actually is a paddle, so you actually slide it over your jeans, or your shorts, or whatever, and then sticks in real well, hugs it real close, so you don't have to worry about it slipping around. Same thing with this. This actually is a SIG. It's a, a Six Sour um, holster made in Israel. Uh, made in, uh, Israel. And this one actually is really neat because it um, retains any double stack magazine. And I don't have it tightened down all the way, but you know, it's, it's decent enough for what it is. You don't need to, you can tighten them down more and so it doesn't really go anywhere at all. But uh, this is, uh, these are real nice. You can put them wherever way you want. Either way is fine. This actually looks pretty good too. So you can tighten them down a little more, hold any double stack. Uh, this is the reason why I got it. I know it's tan, kind of weird compared to everything else being black, but this one I actually got for $5, so. I think I got on a clearance bin up at a SIG store up in New Hampshire, so. Uh, real quick, I guess, you know, only, th only thing else I can think of is uh, just kind of showing you guys it's a really, really simple takedown procedure for this gun. You know, first off, check to make sure it's unloaded. Nothing in the chamber. And then what you do is you actually, there's a de depress button right here. Push it in, there's a little, little, um, turn thing right here, slide falls forward, and there you go, you can decalc it if you want, don't let it uh, hit forward, you don't want to damage the frame, and um, you know, real light spring in there, not too bad, and you got your barrel in there, and there you go, barrel assembly slide, and that's it, four pieces, so easy cleaning, really nice, you know, this one, like I said, it's uh, getting a little older now. It's about four years old and it still looks great. I mean, it's got some rubbing on it, but you know, that's what happens. To keep it nice and oiled, to clean it right after the range every time. It does have a plastic uh, guide rod, but I haven't had a problem with it. So if you want to replace it, I know they sell aluminum ones and steel ones and whatever. So, all right, guys, that's about it. I mean, uh, you know, nothing too too crazy. Just want to show you it. My first firearm that I had uh, about four years ago when I bought it, and. It is a great firearm. If you guys are looking for a first firearm, the Beretta is great. It's got a nice big grip to it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if it's a lot of hands, you don't have to worry about it being too small for you or anything like that. And by the way, when you put it back together, you just push it forward a little bit, flip it up. Nice big grip, and you can get different kind of custom grips for it, rubberized, wooden, whatever. Um, I love it. It's great for any kind of medium to large hand size. So there you go, guys. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, definitely subscribe to my page and like the video and comment with any questions below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.